thankful for? Family, friends, and Dr. Harding. All right, Tanya, what are you thankful for? Uh, definitely my favorite sport track and my favorite class, AP Chemistry. What are you thankful for, Mr. Sheath? Essays to grade. What are you thankful for? I am thankful to have you in class Aww. and for the wonderful students that I have this semester. I am also thankful that our school has a wonderful newspaper. It comes out again in December. Make sure you read it. Advertising. Mr. Rochelle, what are you thankful for? Uh, the wind getting caught in my hair and long walks on the beach. Can you paint with all the color? That's beautiful. Mrs. Ludwig, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for all the wonderful kids we have at EHS, and I'm thankful for my family, and I'm thankful that we can celebrate Thanksgiving together. Good morning, Ephrata. It's Monday, and it's going to be a short week. Grr, Mondays. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention students, beginning this week, audition sign-up sheets are now available in the Student Activities Office for those interested in auditioning for this year's Spring Musical, Beauty and the Beast. We are not only looking to cast a large cast, but auditions will be held for those interested in playing in the pit. Any musicians interested may also sign up in the Student Activities Office. Sign-ups will be available from Monday, November 20th, which is today, through Thursday, November 30th. Auditions are set for two days. December 4th will be a vocal audition, and December 5th will be a dance audition, beginning at 3.30 p.m. You must be present on both days to be considered for the musical. Callbacks are scheduled for Wednesday, December 6th. Pit auditions are Tuesday, November 5th, and Friday, December 8th, and with designated times. Clay, uh, yo. Oh, go. Oh, yeah. Fell asleep. Beauty and the Beast is scheduled to run on, on April 12th, 13th, and 14th, 2018. For, any, for those who are interested in working, on back, working backstage, more information will follow as to how you can get involved. The show will be directed and choreographed by Mr. Gonzalez and vocal, with vocal direction by Ms. Ozinski and orchestra director by Ms. Ms. Klinger with Mr. Bischoff as technical director. Boop, feel, bish. <laughs> feel free to email Mr. Gonzalez if you have any questions. We look forward to seeing you there. Attention ski and snowboarders, a day trip sponsored by the Lancaster Ski Club is being offered on February 11th. It's a great ski deal to Montage Mountains where bus and lift tickets are paid for. If interested, see Ms. Brimhall in 226 or Mr. Shortest in 109 for details. Also, for those of you interested in a super cool snow sport, stop in to see Ms. Brimhall and Mr. Shortest for ski and snowboard club details. We ski at Bear Creek five times starting in January. It's an awesome ride. Don't be left out. On December 12th, EHS will be holding a FAFSA completion night in conjunction with FIA to senior parents completing the free application for student aid or on, or on Wednesday, December 12th, 2017. Two, two sessions will be offered and parents should reserve a time by signing up on Sign Up Genius. Sign-ins begin in November 2017. The session times are 5, 4, 5 to 5.45 and 5.45 to 6.30 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. The sign-up is posted on Class of 2018 Schoology's webpage. Now over to Ethan with the news. What up, fellow hype beasts? The Keystone XL oil pipeline, highly controversial in its construction, realized protesters' greatest concerns over the weekend when at least 5,000 barrels or 210,000 gallons of oil into groundwater in South Dakota. TransCanada, the company that operates Keystone XL, has enacted emergency measures. Snow leopards have been removed from the endangered species list. Although the big cats are still considered threatened and very rare to find, many environmental scientists and biologists no longer believe their continuance as a species is in, immediate, is in imminent danger. <coughs> a trillion observatory has located an Earth-like planet that could possibly support life. Ross 128b, the planet in question, has a temperature climate has a temperate climate and a rocky atmosphere, and is not subjected to harmful radiation by its neighboring star as it emits relatively weak solar radiation. 
That's out of this world. No, stop. <laughs> On this day in history, the Nuremberg Trials began shortly after the closing of World War II. This series of a total of 216 court sessions put 24 high-ranking Nazi officials on trial. Many of them were found guilty of either crimes against peace or crimes against humanity. This was the first trial of its kind, and the hearings lasted a total of 10 months. On a lighter note, it's Robert F. Kennedy and Joe Biden's birthdays. Mary only put this in the PowerPoint because she wanted to print pictures of them on the PowerPoint. Now we're over to Christian with lunch. Today for lunch, we have Bosco's stuffed pizza stick with meatballs and sauce. But on the swings with whole grain roll and margarine. Fish and cheese on a whole grain roll. <laughs> Italian hoagie. <laughs> the chef salad. French fries. Baked beans. Fresh baby carrots or celery dip. Slushy fresh fruit or chilled peaches. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Sport Lord's Court, the Court of the Sport Lord, the Court of the Lord of the Sports, etc. This would be the final reminder that there will be a preseason team meeting for all winter track and field athletes in the high school cafeteria today after school at 2.45 p.m. That, that, that's it. That, that's, that's all the announcements. Now over for the thought of the day. Good morning, H.S. My name is Jesus Perez Pena, and I have a thought for the day. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. And basically, what that means is for any people out there who are struggling, uh, uh, slacking, you know, uh, behind on something, don't stress about it because, you know, eventually you'll move forward and you'll get there. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different mindset. You just have to put the work in it. And that way, you'll be able to move forward and do what you have to do. And uh, this is personal to me. I use this one. This is, for me, this is personal because... I, had, I happen to have this a lot, and um, it's constant. Uh, usually in tests, I'm slow. In homework, I'm slow. Pretty much everything. But I know in the end, I worked hard, and most of the time I get them all right, or most of them. So it's just very personal to me. Um, also, the quote is by Confucius. And uh, But yeah, that is my thought for the day. How can your past experiences shape your future? Young adult author A.S. King will be visiting the high school on December 13th to talk about her own mistakes and how they have led her to where she is today. She's open, honest, and funny. Not to mention the author of more than eight critically acclaimed books all dealing with characters your age. If you're interested in attending this assembly, please let Mrs. Hall or Miss Englert know as soon as possible. You will miss periods two and three and will be responsible for any missed work. We will also be selling A.S. King's books before before the event so we can have them ready for you to, on December 13th in case you want her to sign your book. The order forms are available in the Media Center and on Schoology. The School Counseling Office is holding a contest to look for artwork to feature on the cover of the 2018-2019 Course Selection Guidebook. If you are interested, please download a copy of the information sheet that has been posted in your Schoology newsfeed. The submission deadline is November 22nd, so do not delay. That's it for today, Ephrata. Have a happy Monday. Three-day week. Enjoy it. Or don't. Yeah, what, what he said. Yeah, don't let us tell you how to live. You, you do you. <laughs> He's a phantom. Young Danny Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view a world unseen. Who's gonna catch them all because he's Danny Fenton? When it didn't quite work, his folks, they just quit. But then Danny took a look inside of it. There was a great big flash, everything just changed. His molecules got all rearranged. When he first woke up, he realized he had snow white hair and glowing green eyes. He could walk through walls, disappear, and fly. He was much more unique than the other guy. And it was then that he knew what he had to do. He had to stop all the ghosts that were coming through. He's here to fight for me and you. He's gonna catch them all, cause he's Danny Phantom. He's gonna catch them all, cause he's Danny Phantom.